Hello and welcome back to another video. Uh, I'm Kat um, and in today's video, I said video too many times, um, today we'll be talking about my experience of the Fennec Beauty Showcase um, event that I attended in Colchester. Uh, now their Beauty Showcase, I think it was like a week long, maybe a couple of weeks long event um, that they held across all their stores, but they did almost like a roadshow-esque kind of talk that they took across three stores which was Canterbury, Colchester and York. Um, so I attended the one in Colchester just because I used to go to uni there and I've got friends there so um, I dragged my friend Liz along with me and it was quite inexpensive I think it was like £15 um, and you got that then redeemable against purchases that you made on the day. So um, the event started at 5.30 um, and they would close the store or they closed the store. Um, so you were kind of, um, you had it to yourself basically for like browsing, etc. Um, then uh, we kind of all went upstairs into like a little area. It wasn't that many people like seats and stuff. I think there's probably about 30 seats um, and they fed you very nice food from Carluccio's. Um, and you had some option of having like bubblies uh, or um, non-alcoholic. So because I was driving, I went for the non-alcoholic, but it was very nice too. Um, and then they took you through to the talk, um, which was kind of like an hour or so. Um, and it was the buying team. So specifically Vesa Calho, Calo, I think so you know say his name, um, who is the beauty buying manager for Fennec. Um, and he was being interviewed by Kathleen Bard, Bed, Bard, Murph, Murray. Um, and she is the British Vogue contrib Contributing Beauty Editor. British Vogue Contributing Edit Beauty Editor. Yeah, she was a journalist, um, very big in beauty world. Um, and yeah, basically they talked through um, what they believe are kind of like the up and coming trends, um, what they believe are kind of like the most important things in the world of beauty. Um, um, specifically, they talked about, you know, um, uh, individuality across like makeup, skincare and fragrance. Now, makeup is quite straightforward. You know, people experiment, they explore, they express themselves. But it is a little bit more kind of um, niche, I think, with skincare and and fragrance it's more intimate it's kind of for you i suppose you don't go and tell everybody um but yeah it was it was um a nice kind of um intro into phoenix which i haven't necessarily uh, we don't have one where i live um so it's not somewhere that i go quite a lot um but it was it was interesting insight into you know how um people go around like you know sourcing various brands um within their stores you know the kind of decisions they make um what they look at that sort of thing and then them themselves what brands are important to them like the guy um Vesa has like a 12 step beauty regime in in the morning so you know um and I was like oh 12 steps that's ridiculous did it and as he's going through I was like oh I, I think I have like a similar number um so you just kind of get swept in all like you know first cleanse second cleanse misting do you tone do you put essence do you um you know how many serums do you have then you've obviously got moisturizer or do you use a facial or do you use spf um and then priming makeup concealer all this kind of stuff so it it is you know quite a regime for a lot of people so it was just interesting to listen to people talk about it um uh and realize that you're amongst <laughs> you're amongst your people um so yeah it was really good and then you went downstairs um, after the talk um, and you could use your voucher to spend against anything. They had um, the staff working late and they were all so nice. Um, but one of the things that I was most interested in was the Dermalogica stand where you had the face mapping machine. Now, I I was very nervous that I'd like damaged loads of skin or that I had really bad skin. And to be fair, the pictures that come up are not the most flattering. However, the the lovely woman and I'm so sorry I can't remember her name because she was amazing she answered all our questions she was so enthusiastic she was so complimentary um she was kind of like this is the things you need to focus on this is how to read these like images this is yeah so in one bit like you can see where I've got SPF on but how it's kind of started to come away on like my forehead and the tops of my eyes and all that kind of stuff and she said like that's where most people get sun damage is is where the bits that face the sun um so just around the top of your eyes here and then your forehead and then your nose so it was just very very interesting um 
and yeah i'm glad i did it um and then she was so nice um she recommended a couple of products and we also got little freebies i'll take you through the freebies and the gift bag in a minute um but then we did like a couple of other um departments um brands um and yeah everyone was just really nice everyone was very knowledgeable um and yeah very enthusiastic about the event so it was good it was good i thoroughly enjoyed it and i hope to do more um like I said, I'm, I am I love beauty events. Um, I think it's it's a good way to be able to ask people questions about things that I don't understand because I am a novice still. Um, I get swept up in, in the hype of things where people go, oh, you should try this product, try this product. And you end up with about 40 different products in your cupboard and you have no idea how to use any of them. So, which is probably where I'm at at the moment. Um, so yeah, like I said, there was a goodie bag. So I will take you through that now. Um, there was also a load of freebies as you're going around. So I'll start with those. So they gave you like a nice bag as you were, as you were leaving. A nice Fenix bag. And uh, yeah, so the, the the most impressive, I think, freebie that we got, because we spent a lot of time around the Dermalogica counter with this lady asking questions, was this um, little kind of mini three pack. So inside you've got a pre-cleanse, uh, 15 mil, a special cleansing gel, 15 mil, and then the ultimate sponge cloth, which she said, um, super soft cleansing cloth that helps efficiently remove Dermalogica cleansers, only Dermalogica cleansers, no other cleanser, uh, and masks are when dampened. The cloth thoroughly removes makeup and debris without irritating skin, made from bacteria resistant fabric that rinses clean and dries quickly for convenient use. So that appealed to me, the fact that it's, it's kind of like bacteria resistant. Um, so that's what you get there, so nice. And if they are any good, then you know, I'm assuming they're not too expensive to buy, so it might be nice to get a couple. Um, and then these are the little minis, oh, it's so tiny. So that's your little pre-cleanse, teeny, teeny, tiny. Do that thing again on it. No, no, it's, it's focusing. Um, and then this is the special cleansing gel. I think I've used this one before. Um, yeah, nice cleansing gel. Um, standard, feel cleansed, uh, feel hydrated afterwards. So, uh, yeah, I just love the Dermalogica pro pro uh, products. I'm trying to talk too quick because I'm a bit excited. Um, yeah, I've used most of their products um you'll see on my empties video that i have a lot of little miniatures um from them from recently uh when i've purchased a few things and i just like to get through miniatures as quickly as possible um because they do take up a lot of space um and it's a good way to know whether you know uh, you would like a particular brand or oh, range right so that was the first um freebie that we got um then we got a couple of fragrances now I don't know very much about fragrances at all. I have no idea what's, you know, trendy, cool, uh, what smells right on me. Uh, I just know what I like. Um, and then I know what, what smells right and what doesn't. So we got a couple of these, which is from the brand Toka, I think. Toka? Toka? Um, and uh, they're available only at Phoenix. Um, I think that was the other thing is that they, the, the, uh, the fragrance brands that they bring in they're very specific so there was the the fragrance buyer there as well who talked through you know certain up-and-coming fragrances that everyone was very excited about um and how like with individuality with fragrance it's not just about like finding a fragrance and you know away you go a lot of people now are like overlapping fragrances to create unique senses and oh yeah which is interesting i wouldn't have no clue i'd probably just make a mess of it and i'd smell awful but um it was an interesting kind of um idea that i'd not really thought about in terms of individuality with fragrance so yeah these two are um i should probably have a whiff shouldn't i so this one's bell um and then this one is cleopatra so let's try cleopatra first actually um I have no idea how much any of this costs, by the way, either. I will try and do a little bit of research. It was more like the spirit of the day, I think, rather than, ooh, nice freebie. Ooh, gosh, that went everywhere. Okay. Ooh. Now, it smelled really nice at first, but it's got a strange after smell. And I don't know if the strange after smell is me. Hang on. No, I quite like that. It has got a weird... Oh, I can't explain it. I can't explain it. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm not sure about that one. But it, it's nice. It is nice as like an overall fragrance. It's just the, again, whether the kind of compared to my natural 
um odor uh whether it goes well so but it's nice because it's only a small sample so you know you're not wasting much if you you don't use it or to be fair with these kind of size if i don't like it or i don't think it matches me i tend to pass it on to like my mum or something or a friends um to see if they kind of like it so this one we have to do um two um just to not contaminate my room is gonna smell awful later just a mess oh there we go not too violent and i waft so it's not all alcoholy okay that is not me at all <laughs> it's if i'm honest it smells a bit like um kind of cleaning not not cleaning products but more like fresh kind of i guess that would be the best way to say it yeah a bit sweet a bit fresh um probably not me at all so i'll hand these on but again really nice to have the option to to kind of like take them home and, and smell them against your skin so yeah i again no idea how much they cost probably very expensive so they were um bringing those around as you were there uh another thing that we got to do was go to this count i'm not even going to try girly Guerlaine, paris um yeah they apparently one of the oldest makeup brands ever um and yeah we basically went and had a um color match against their foundation uh, again the woman on there was amazing and so nice so knowledgeable and i can't remember her name but she yeah she was so um had all the time in the world you know explain things to you because I, I said like I'm not a bronzy person like I don't do bronze I don't do contouring I'm not very adventurous with lipstick and all that kind of stuff and she put not a leery lipstick on me but she did put a brighter lipstick than what I would have worn and like, after the initial like shock of like oh my goodness um it, you start to get used to it and she like she says you know it's just in your head it's you like it, it, it's it's you it's your perception of yourself that stops you from wearing certain things or it's the same with fashion i guess um you wear what you feel comfortable in but you won't know unless you step outside what else you might be comfortable in so and it was yeah it was a really nice one i was so tempted to buy it but i do have a lot of lip products at the moment so but instead i went for this um she color matched me to this one um which yeah i'll just swatch it a little bit so it comes in this cool little cool little jar it's enough there for like a couple of weeks well, the way I use it is probably a couple of weeks. So you can see. Blend. Yeah. So another nice colour match. It felt really soft on the skin um, when she put it on. Um, and it just blended really nicely. So if it's any good um, over the next couple of weeks and it, it doesn't obviously um, create any issues, then I will definitely, maybe, definitely maybe repurchase. So yeah, another really nice freebie. And then obviously they put other stuff on your skin which is, um, they've kind of detailed in there. But yeah, that was a good one. So then after that, we went to the Sicily counter. I think that's how you pronounce it. I've got no real idea. I always say things wrong. Um, but yeah, so then um, again, another really lovely lady, very knowledgeable. Um, and they they basically were handing out kind of this these sachets. Now, I know how expensive each of these ones are. So this eye cream was something that uh, Vessa was talking about as something he uses in his regime um so they were giving that out as well as this kind of um SPF and SPF was like the topic like he basically said like everyone now is coming around to the idea that SPF needs to be worn every day so I think most beauty people in the know probably knew that for some time um but people like myself were like oh gosh we do actually need to wear spf every day so um it's now becoming more kind of forefront in my mind that protecting the skin is is so important all year round not just on a hot day so um yeah and then she gave us this one as like an alternative to switch between the two um so yeah that was really cool um again i do like sicily products i would never pay for sicily products um is it Sicily? Sicily, oh yeah. Um, so that was nice, another nice freebie. And did we get anything else? That might have been it. Um, yeah, because we went to a couple of other counters, but because we spent so long on like the dermatological one, um, they were kind of like checking their watches, kind of like, come on, get out. Um, 
but they were very nice and nobody asked us to leave so um but eventually yeah so that was about um between like seven and eight half eight um and then yeah everyone kind of left and you got your goodie bag which i will dig into now um so compared to like say the harrods one it's not as um kind of uh full um but the products are still really nice and to be fair like the price of the ticket was much much cheaper so the i think it was like 15 pounds um and that was fully redeemable so you didn't um you know they didn't keep any of it so let's just dig out the first thing so this first one is from clarins aroma um, now I've never seen this product. This is the Tonic Treatment Oil 30 mils. So I assume it's a full size. So a little look -ski. Yeah, it's one of their standard oils. I don't know if that makes a difference in my hand or whether it makes it any easier to read a see-through bottle. Um, so it's for the body. Um, that's all in another language. Uh, yeah, so Tonic Treatment Oil Body, Firming Toning, Body Care Formulated, with ingredients of natural origin, essential oils that tone the skin and create a total feeling of well-being. Apply preferably in the morning to damp body skin. Uh, follow. Hmm. Apply preferably in the morning to damp body skin. Follow with a cool shower. Surely it'd be. Anyway, no idea. Maybe that implies you have to wash it off. It might be something's lost in translation. Um, I'll check. Um, I don't really like body oils, if I'm honest. Um, I'm very negative Nancy today, aren't I? Um, I'm like, no, I can't use that, I can't use that. Um, but yeah, no, I'm not a massive body oil, just the feeling on the skin. I'm very fussy about, like, uh, there's certain, like, jumpers. I can't have, like, certain shirts on my skin just because it feels a bit... Oof. Um, but uh, I'll try, like, if I can find, like, a smaller version of this to try, um, I'll give it a go. Because I know that I can be surprised that it doesn't actually feel greasy. It can feel, like, quite smooth and it absorbs very well. Um, so, yeah, but again, if I don't get on with it, I will pass it on um to a couple of people who I know love body oils so but it's a very nice one to have and I'm I'm sure it's a really really decent product so yeah that's the first one uh, another one from Clarins I believe is this one this is the extra firming um wrinkle control firming day cream and this is a 30 ml so it's kind of like a deluxe deluxe size oh shiny um, yeah, I've used this before. Um, I've used them in like in the pots that you used to get. Um, well, you used to get um, in the gift boxes at Christmas and stuff like that. I never pay full price for anything. Um, and generally, if it well, no, this is a gift for purchase. Um, but they used to come with like a couple of extras in there, like um, a serum and or an eye cream or something like that. So, but yeah, I have used this one before. I don't know if they've changed the formulation. The packaging is definitely different. Um, but really nice, really nice uh, cream to use. Um, I think it's kind of like. 30s plus um this kind of age range um so yeah uh very happy again quite an expensive one doing well um next one is a hair care product this one is from percy and reed and it's give me strength th uh, give me strength strengthening hair mask and it's 50 mils there we go so this one um oh strength intensely nourishing moisturizing ingredients help reduce uh brittleness and increase the elastic elasticity and pillability of the hair i don't know that oh, pliability it is really small in my defense um <laughs> and i can't read uh repair proteins and actives help repair damage and make hair fibers less susceptible to future damage um and then prevent a trio of deeply moisturizing oils help prevent breakage and split ends without leaving hair greasy leaving it feeling soft and silky so there we go so yeah i have um hair mask that i tend to use on a weekly basis so i'll just slot that in there and this will probably give me about two or three uses i tend not to use too much just because i find flat hair you get quite greasy quite quickly so yeah i'll probably just um uh try and get through that slowly but surely but it's nice to try again nice to have these things um especially on pamper nights and things like that um i've got the elasticizer at the moment and there's a couple of other ones that i've got ready to go um so yeah uh next one is another smell uh this one is the tiniest little sample there we go this one might be a, a husband jobby we'll see so this is tom ford uh neroli 
can't read that backwards, uh, Portofino, and it is four mils, and it's an eau de parfum. Um, now, I don't have anything from Tom Ford, I don't think, um, but I am well aware what they're famous for, um, is their scents. Mmm, that is nice. Um, don't know if it's something I'd wear, though, but I will... I'm already all doused out on my on my arms, so but I will I will try it, <laughs> um, and possibly with my husband. I might I might get him to give it a go as well, um, or maybe double up, um, layer things on, try and create a nice new unique smell. Um, but yeah, it's nice again to have that as a sample size because that's bigger than some of the others. I do wish it was a squirty bottle because I think with some of these ones it just ends up like running down you. You don't quite get enough, or yeah. But it's nice to be able to smell it and take it home. Right, there are two more things in here. The first one, is, oh, second to last. This is Benefit, the poor freshen, the poor professional, uh, speedy, smooth, quick smoothing pore mask. Um, it's 10 grams. There you go. Um, is it a little squeezy too? It is a little squeezy too. Now, I've not tried any of the poor fashion, prof, oh, poor professional. Um, I know that like they did the release of this kind of rebranding quite recently. Um, I have no idea if this is a brand new product or just a repackaged one. Um, but yeah, I will give it a try. I do. One of the things that came out on the um, the Dermalogica mapping was um, I just could see my pores. They were like, oh, no, they're not the big. But I was like, I can see them. I can see them. So um, anything that is like pore refining, I'm all about. I think it's just because I'm quite a greasy, like oily person. Um, so I'm, yeah, big pores. Um, so I will try that. Um, again, mix it in with my routine. Uh, and I'll see how I get on. Yeah, I will let you know. So then the last thing we've got in here is, oh, it's another perfume. Oh, it's by Creed. And it is um, Aventus for her. Now, I've only tried this 10 mils. I've only tried one of their perfumes before. Um, ooh, a nice little spray. Um, just going to... Can I get that off? No. Um, oh, God. Okay. I'm trying to find a bit that doesn't smell of anything. I have to go further up the arm. Okay, that'll be all day. That'll be all day. It's quite an, a fragrance heavy bag but that's okay that's okay i like um trying new smells All right deep breath nice it's um oh, it reminds me of something but i couldn't tell you for life me what um yeah i like that it's it's kind of it's not too sweet um it's kind of floral um bit different bit different to anything i've kind of got um but yeah i like that it's nice um and mm, that one's worn on me a little bit now i like that that one i still don't like um so yeah another nice one um so that's like four fragrances to try it's quite a lot um but i will get through it um and yeah again it's I think with these things, because it's all free, I can't really, like, say, oh, I wish they had this, I wish they had that. I'm just grateful. Like, we didn't necessarily know that there was going to be a gift bag. Um, it kind of mentioned it on the website, but I don't go just for that aspect, although it's nice. Um, I do go to try and, like, build my knowledge um, and just to experience things. I love things like the the face mapping, where you can kind of get to go because we my, my friend and I obviously got it done together and we have completely different skin types um and yet we're quite pale and we think we have you know we, we shop for the same kind of products um etc so it's good to have it um explained to you um the differences um and the individuality in skincare so yeah no I really 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 like the event um and uh, yeah I'll keep my eyes open for any other ones and um like I said I'll put in some clips in here when I'm talking about stuff didn't take too much because I was a little bit excited and kind of getting overwhelmed with bits but um it was a really nice experience so and I hope to do more in the future so yeah, that's it. That's um, my mini review of um, the event. And yeah, I hope it's given you like a little insight into what it was like. Uh, and maybe if they hold another one in the future, you could go or think about going. Um, yeah, but thank you again so much for watching. And um, yeah, I hope to see you on the next one. Take care.